Hey, welcome back to Best Bit. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. Have you ever shared a presentation with students on Google Classroom and then made changes to sort of your instruction and the kids don't have those changes and then you need to like go in, edit that assignment, delete the presentation, add in a new assignment? I'm going to go ahead and show you because I've got a few colleagues here that have... So this is how you want to do it a bit differently and it's really super simple, okay? So as a teacher, go to your original teacher resource and make a copy of this. Okay, make a copy of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just copy the first slide, okay, and go ahead and just make a copy, <coughs> make a copy of the selected slide, so the first slide, okay, I don't call it student copy. So student copy photo album. Here we go. So that's that done. I've got my student copy and I've just got one slide here. What I want to do, go back to my original master copy, okay? And go ahead and select all of the other slides or the slides that you want to update. I'm going to go ahead and just copy everything here. Okay, I've, I've selected them. I'm going to go ahead and just press control copy. I've just copied those, okay? Or you can do right click copy and I'm going to go to my student album here. This is the student copy. I'm going to go ahead and paste those. When I paste them, it says here, there's a little prompt up here. It says, import slides, do you want to link them or you don't want to link them? I'm going to say link to original presentation. So I'm going to link those to the original presentation. Now you can see this little dialog box here. There's a, there's a little link icon, linked slide options. So now check this out. All of these, they're all linked to my original master copy. Now check this out. When I make my assignment, when I make my assignment, I'm going to go to create assignment. I can update that one, but I'm going to go ahead and create an assignment. Photo album project. Follow, please. Follow the narrative on slide three. Okay, I can go ahead and bold that. And then when I bring in this new presentation now, this is the, the my student copy. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm still going to go ahead and say make a copy for each student because obviously you want the assignment, you want each student to submit this assignment. And then I'm going to go ahead and assign it. You can make whatever points, the due date, um, it's useful to do this actually, you know, because it keeps students on track. I'm going to say for next week, Monday, this is due. I can even give an optional time if I wanted to. Yeah. Okay. And whatever the point score is, okay, maybe you've got a point score of, I don't know, 35. I don't know what your point score is. You can even add a rubric if you wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and assign this. Now, because I've linked all of those slides, they're still linked to the original master copy. So check this out. As a student, as a student, if I go to that assignment now, so let's go to classwork, photo album, project. So if I click on that, and it says, please follow the narrative on slide three, I'm gonna go ahead and open this, and I'll go to slide three. Oh, okay, 72 hours, four humans, one car freedom. Okay, brilliant. You can see this, as a student, I'm seeing, and each student's gonna see this, there's a link to the original slide. Okay, so right now, they don't need to do anything. But if I decide, as a teacher, in my teacher resource, my original master copy, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna change this out. I'm gonna say, you know what? We haven't spent as much time as we wanted to on this project. I'm gonna actually reduce this to 24 hours. And to make it easier for my students, I'm just gonna document, you know, I want them to document two humans and maybe say one pet. So now you can see, watch, uh, as I go to the student one, let's open up that project again. Here we go, look, I'm at the project. I'm gonna open this up. Okay, slide three. And it says here, update. You see this little, uh, Little dialog box, it says update from teacher resource. It's gonna update from the master copy. So if I could go ahead and click on update, you see, look, the project narrative has changed. And remember, I'm not doing anything extra as a teacher. I don't need to go in and juggle uh, things around and delete this presentation, add a new one in. I now have updated this to 24 hours, two humans, one car, and one pet, pet of their choice or whatever. So if you make a teacher copy and then a, uh, a student copy, and then you link all the slides in the student copy, when you share that out with students, uh, every time you update the teacher copy, their copy is going to get updated again. Go ahead and try that out if that's something that you've been juggling with, uh, something that you've been, you know, be, be getting around with. Um, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.